Hey, hey, folks. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Sheath, the official underwear of comedy. I bet I'm wearing them right now. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, What's a better uh, promo than that? I'm not, but I usually am. Nah, he's wearing panties. U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton knew there to be a better way to keep your dick from sticking to your leg, and Sheath was born. Every pair of Sheath is a soft, flexible, cradle-like pouch that separates the boys from the inner thigh, eliminating <laughs> sticky situations. I love them. They look great. They feel great. You got to get the balls in the dick a little space. It's like Israel and Palestine down there. Sheath comes in a lot of patterns, and they're ready for any occasion. They didn't leave out the ladies either. We got boy shorts, sports bras, and bikini briefs. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code DRUNK to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRUNK. Get Sheath Underwear and let them support your balls. Hey guys, how are you? Ooh. Hey, I wasn't ready. Ooh. Sorry, a little jumpy. Been a long weekend. Keep going. Nice kicks. Oh, th- the honest is baby. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. It matches your Pepto bottle in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Pepto. This is the Jewish pair of Giannis's. Uh We got a special guest today, uh, Dustin Nickerson. New special on YouTube. It runs in the family. March 28th? March 28th. Hey. Yeah. All right, sweet. There you go. YouTube's the move, oh, yeah. baby. Yeah. I saw Chad Dales last night. He's doing one. Uh, Ari just did one. You Ari's know, so good. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah. That's uh, For people playing the how many times Mark burps and farts drinking game at home. Early. Early. Yeah, that was yeah, a, yeah, that yeah. was a quick was one. Quick. I, I mean, more, you've gotten more burps than I've gotten words so far. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're going. We were talking baseball before you got here because you're like, first off, you're wearing a Seattle Kraken hat. Yeah, yeah. That's you're like, a Seattle guy. I'm a Seattle guy, and but I don't know hockey. So I'm like a fan because it's a new team. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, what's icing? Like, I don't know the rules <laughs> yeah. to the game yet. And I almost don't want them to, because like they're pretty good right now. They're like first in the Pacific. and But I almost don't want them to win because I haven't suffered. You haven't earned along it. With, I haven't hurt. Yeah, I haven't right. earned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a comic yeah. getting too much too right, early. Right, right. You didn't pay your dues. Exactly. That's what I feel like as a Kraken fan. <laughs> I was like, no, I got to, especially Seattle, which is a very long-suffering sports city. Just like, the energy really? of that city is just, it's its like suicide. It is. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. Number one. In. It's Are they number one? I think they're number one in suicide rate. No, uh, Alaska. Wow. That would count them. <laughs> that's Do a we given. count that. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking Syracuse, too, but I'm like, that's another one. You can't even count that. Like, Seattle's yeah. for, for like, a real city with right. suicide. Yeah. And if you think about the things that, like, Seattle's known for, like coffee and music, art, software, Heroin. all indoors. Also, but oh. coffee's also like energy. It's weird to be caffeinated and then kill yourself. Oh, good point. Yeah. It's Maybe weird. they need it. They're high energy suicides. <laughs> right. You know, they, they don't lull. It's a, it's a high energy. They couldn't thing. get off the couch to jump without a, a Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So actually coming in at number one with a bullet is Wyoming. Oh. Wyoming. But that's another one. Nobody lives there. And it probably that's takes like a week to suicide. find the body. Yeah, that's a state yeah. too. <laughs> We're going city here. Oh, city. Excuse but you think Seattle, you think like Frazier, you think like, you know, oh, Niles. You, yeah. Know, yeah. you don't Starbucks. think like a guy hanging himself. No, But the no. weather, we were there recently. And by the way, more theater is like the most beautiful theater. Best, best one of the best Moore's rooms incredible. in the country. I think yeah. that might be my favorite venue we played so far. Incredible. I, yeah, I opened for Nate there a couple of years ago and it's like, I grew up going to this, and like Allison Chains has a famous live album there. Oh and you're yeah, like, you're just and like Houdini played there. Wow, I know, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Pearl Jam climbed the thing there. Yeah, I think. yeah. yeah. I feel Very guilty famous. doing what I do when I hear shit like <laughs> like Houdini played there, and I'm like, here's a here's another abortion joke. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping that tradition on. Well, you're, you're, he's making things disappear too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also Seattle Kraken. That's the the animal. The weird. Yeah. What is a kraken? It's, it's like a monster, right? Yeah, it's a sea, sea monster. monster, yeah. It's a very Seattle weird name. But it's kind there. of a cool name. It is a cool name. And they have the I most like Seattle name ever for the uh, the arena, the Climate Pledge Arena. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were going to say the syringe. <laughs> I was thinking they should call it the Sound Garden. Yeah, the it, sound was the, it was the... It was <laughs> Oh, there you go. That took me a That's very good. When Selgi's bombed, he did, the, he did yeah. the Mr. Burns yeah. thing there. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah I, I think Jerry Bruckheimer is one of the owners of the Oh, yeah. wow. Is that true? I had no I idea. I think he yeah. is. I'm pr- you, Google it. Do we, he, they, they, the reason the Kraken exists, though, are to try and get the Sonics back. Like the oh, they, was that right? Sonics lost. Uh, we lost the Sonics in two thousands, 
And and it was like a thief in the night type situation where uh, Stern, the CEO at the time, gave his bunny Clay Bennett a team mm. in Oklahoma City. And they were like, ah, oh, the arena's trash. It was a key arena. It was fine, you know. Yeah. But they had to, like, renovate it and show that it could be a good space to now try and court the NBA back to see wow it. what a move yeah they should they should have a team it's pretty cr- i mean i grew up on those like sonics green and yellow yeah Payton, Sean yeah Kemp. detlef shrimp cool team good years yeah cool just team. another all another set of hall of famers that jordan kept from getting a title mm. which is his real legacy of the 90s yeah right. <laughs> that was i mean speaking of basketball i did i did Giannis on the kentacumpo's benefit last night yeah, wow saw the picture. holy shit amazing family they're so cool Shout out to Hassan Minaj, Hassan Minaj. I'm sorry, Hassan, Hassan, Minaj. Uh, he put it together, and it's like literally Mayor Adams, the ambassador. Wow, uh, to Greece, and then me. Holy <laughs> shit! And then Ronnie <laughs> Chang, and then oh, me. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, I got yeah. a buffer, but uh, it's crazy. I'm doing literally. I'm just like I went up like half in the bag. I was like, I'm fucking nervous. I'm the mayor. I'm looking at yeah. Mayor Adams. Yeah. So, wow. So I had an easy gig. I was a few Manhattan's deep. By the way, Stavros, whatever. He was supposed to come with me. He didn't. Long story. But I'm like, I, I'm like, I know I'm gonna get drunk, so I just start pounding all this like really great Greek food they had. Ooh, so nice. Uh, I'm looking in the front. And I'm I'm trying not to make eye contact. The front table is Giannis, <laughs> Thanasis, and their mom. Oh and everyone's my like, god! And people are like crying before they bring <laughs> me on. They're just like this incredible woman yeah. who brought these men up to to yeah. be such. And they're like all incredible people. They're all good human yeah. beings. Yeah. And they give back. And Giannis is the greatest basketball player right now. I think. Wow. You know, if you if we're going yeah two way Greek is. freak yeah and. And, the, and and I look over and the brothers are laughing and I was like, thank God. Oh. And then I look to the left. The mom is not laughing. I'm like, it's okay. The yeah. brothers are laughing. That's what's important. Yeah. yeah. And then I look over. Mayor Adams fucking loving me. Oh, really? Great. Right. And then pull up the video, Matt, after the show. Because right Stav did not come with me. His name is Stav, bro. Put up, bro. Ah. Wow, Greek gods. Wow. That's Dude, a good he, friend move. Yeah, also I didn't, a dirty I, friend move. This, I didn't ask for the video. We were just talking, and I said, I'm so bummed because my one of my best friends was supposed to come with me tonight, and he and he couldn't come, and he's so upset about it. And he goes, let's make a video for him. Oh. He, I would never have brought it up. Oh, oh, man. I would not have brought I'm not that dude. Yeah. He's Greek. He should have been there with a Here's, flag on. You want to hear yeah. why Stav wasn't there? He literally texted me before. He's like, I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. Can I wear my... Greek, uh, can I wear my Adidas tracksuit? And I was like, I mean, it's the rainbow room, dude. It's like, yeah. I was the worst dressed person there and I was in a button down, <laughs> you know? And uh, I was like, you should probably wear something, you know? I'm like, and then he was like, I'm lo- dude, I'm looking around, I don't have one dress shirt. And I was like, you did five shows at the Wilbur this weekend. <laughs> you don't have one dress shirt? And he's like, no, I don't have a dress shirt. So I was like, fuck it, just wear the tracksuit. And yeah. he goes, no, I don't want to drag you down. Like, I don't want to like be that bad. Pl-. And I was like, just do it, it's fine. And then he fell asleep and woke up. <laughs> I was explaining this to a friend, and I was like, "I was like, he just fell asleep." I was like, "Hey, he's fat." You yeah, know, people. Yeah, they, but it happened. Yeah, fat people just fall asleep sometimes. Yeah, it you, happens. You hear a cat naps. You never hear a fat naps. I was hoping you're gonna say he just showed up in a toga, <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to throw you for a loop, because that is the uh, the garb of the day. No, he uh, he was, pr- and then I, I tried to sway him when I was there because I was like, "Dude, the entire Milwaukee Bucks team is here." Wow, and he right. loves the whole team, so yeah. I was kind of like, "Dude, come!" And he just he woke up to that video like, oh. "Fuck, damn!" How my wife would have showed up. I did like ten. Yeah, that's not I, an easy. I, I, I got I got a big laugh, and I was like, "Fuck it!" I didn't even get the light yet. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm off." Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I got I got, I, got I, I was like, I, "There's no need for me to overstay my welcome and a benefit." Right. Wow. <laughs> and you sat next to him. No, I didn't sit next to oh. him. I just I found him after the show. Wow! But uh, how'd you crazy. spot him? <laughs> <laughs> he is he is well dressed too. Really, he's, he's a dapper uh, yeah. man. He's an easy guy to root for. Like I don't I think anyone him. hates Giannis. No, no Papas, right? yes, oh. yeah. but uh, not that one. Very different, Giannis. Very yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different energies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's funny. That's a that's a what do you call it? A milestone. That's a. F- it was fun as hell. Yeah, ha- great yeah, moment. Austin, the man for doing that. For yeah, that's yeah, awesome. We gotta um, get him on one day. Do you, do you have any? Uh, yeah, we do have to get him on. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any Rex? Any recs? Like recommendations? Oh, recommendations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. I'm always like way behind on like TV and like it's like that old Gaffigan joke. 
You know, you remember this joke? It was I like, love this joke. It was I, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to mess up the exact details right. It's like, you ever watch a movie? Oh, yeah, that's a great joke. Like, yeah. Hey, you guys ever seen Heat? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, like five years ago. But I want to talk about it now. Yeah. <laughs> I love that that's line. Like, I want to talk about Heat now. I, I want to talk about Heat now. And Heat's I, the perfect movie, That's too. a little bit of like the parenting thing. Like, because we like, I get like, me and my wife, like if we're watching a show, it's like 40 minutes at the end of the night. And we're like, we can start a new thing. Or we can watch Larry Sanders again. Like something we yeah. know we're going to love. It's amazing how many references Larry Sanders has gotten on this podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, we yeah. All, we're all obsessed Big with fan. it. Yeah. He literally answers the phone, hey now. Oh, that's incredible. right. Yeah, that's what my wife got me for Father's Day last year was a hey now shirt. Uh, yeah, it's a big one. You have three kids, so it's Three kids, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Like Get him this drink immediately. He's yeah. got three kids. Yeah. How old are they? My oldest, he's a junior in high school. He's wow. 15. He's like learning to drive. I had like a whole life before comedy. When I showed up my first open mic, I was 27 and had oh, damn. two kids and a third on the way. Oh, so like, wow. I had like a whole... So when you said, hey, wife, I'm going to do comedy, she said, great. Yeah, there was like, it was, I, I think it is why, like, go ahead. I just want to say shout out to uh, Patrick oh. from Joey Roses for coming through. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank jo you. Joe DeRosa's bar in the Lower East, one of the best... Uh, Dives One of in the, the best city. Spots in the city. Gr great bar. 174 Rivington Street. Hell yeah, and great hair, and boy, look at that skin. He's like a Incredible. Ken doll. Incredible. From Utah? Uh, I'm from Atlanta, but I'm yeah. from Salt Lake City. Got ah. it. Right. If you guys remember the High West episode, I'm the guy who gave you the bottle. Hey. I remember that. I remember that. I, pre I still have it. I still have like a little bit left. Yeah. I have a hard time just, I, I usually just get a new bottle. I don't like to finish the bottle. Sure. Yeah, keep yeah, it going. It was campfire, so they stopped making that one. So they got some of the last. It's great whiskey. You do have one of those looks that I don't think I could get your age within ten years. <laughs> yeah, a whole decade. If you said mid twenties, okay, yeah, mid forties, I also wouldn't be surprised. Nice Cooper, the face is a little bit younger. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could be a character on the boys for sure. Yeah, right. What what do we, what are we drinking here? Tom Collins. Ooh so this is your drink good mm. choice dust it's my cocktail of choice yeah really I, I love i'm not even a big gin guy but i love this drink it's uh very especially for day drinking which we're very much doing it's sure. very easy to go what down is, I, don't yeah. even know I don't even know what's in a tom collins uh gin simple syrup uh lemonade <laughs> Yeah, uh, lemon juice, right? I don't like it too sweet. I like to use agave because simple syrup is just mm. sugar. Uh, right. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, just fresh squeezed lemon, agave, uh, a little bit of some soda on top, and then gin. And the gin I brought you was also from Utah. Hey! So yeah. Madame Paterini, the quick funny story behind that, the guy on this bottle is Utah's first drag queen. And Whoa. Wow. Brigham Young's son, Brigham Young Jr. Wow. Really? That's what uh, drag queens say now. Bring them young. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he came back from his mission from Hawaii, and he found out he had a falsetto voice, and he started doing drag shows. Wow. People thought he was a woman. So. Huh. Wow. Like that. They have that? a big drag population in Utah. I went to a bar, and I saw a few drag queens. I was like, all right, Utah. Yeah, yeah don't get too drunk. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. yeah. I'll be there on Sunday. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me and Ari and the boys all go skiing once a year. We do a show at Wise Guys. We sell it out. We make a ton of money and then just go skiing with it. Nice. Yeah, Fun. Mikey made you get sushi. That's him? Oh. Mikey Thompson also shout out. Give that guy a shout out. That sushi was amazing and uh, he, he brings it to the green room. Yeah. Killer. Yes, Good egg. Love Utah. So we you were talking about, uh, yeah. Sorry. You had a whole kids. life before comedy. Yeah, and then we went into day drinking, which fits. Uh, <laughs> wait, where are you from? Seattle. Oh, wait, I knew that. The Kraken. Yeah. Sorry. Seattle, but But I started, so... but I live in San Diego. Yeah. And oh. that's where I started comedy. Good choice. So, yeah, it's, it's a perfect Great city. city. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the city I would move to if I didn't live here. That's what I hear a lot, yeah. And and it's a underrated comedy scene. Mm -hmm. like, they have like six clubs. You can get Whoa. up as much as you want. Three of them are right there downtown. Do you, you know? go up a lot during the week? I do, yeah. I try to. You know, it depends how busy the touring is, but usually at, at least once or twice a week I'll do, because we have a lot of good indie shows. And then before the pandemic, I ran a show. You did it, Lasats. Right. Yeah. And uh, like it was a cool indie show that lasted like 15 years. Wow. And every Tuesday, 9 p.m., like 100 college kids would come in. And so I did that at minimum, but, you know, I can. You, Depending on on what I'm doing between San Diego and LA, I usually still go up a few times a week, you know, and then go out on the weekend. So, uh, yeah. So, 
but it started i just like showed up at an open mic at 27 and but i was doing that like meandering like what do i want to do with my life thing mm. and then i did stand up and i was like oh this is it i found i found the thing you know sure uh, but I think because I started later, I, there was like an urgency to like get good yes. and be a pro. Fast. And with kids, you got to yeah. pay the bills, yeah, keep yeah, the lights I on. Yeah, to do for a living. So I was like, I was on the road within like six months. I was like, wow, hey, I, you know, just bad, terrible casino gigs throughout the Southwest where you're doing like twenty five cold. You're Ooh. like to open. You're lucky if you're lucky if you get an overhead announcement. Like a lot of the time, you just walk to the stage right. too, and like the real bad ones, it, the, you'd still be open to the casino, yeah. not even an enclosed room, just people walking by, you know. And so, uh, I did a lot of road pretty early on, but most of it was in San Diego, and you know, that's, that's good. Still where I go casino the most. gigs are hard when it's all your people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. they're hard always. They're yeah. just, there's something about it that just brings out. I mean, of course, it brings out the worst in a person. Right. You're literally flushing your money down the toilet. I did it on Friday. I was just like, take my money. I was. You, yeah. you know when you get that level of drunk where you're just like handing them chips and you're just. <laughs> yeah. I do that thing. I do this when people. This is the total comic thing I do where I'm like, people aren't paying attention to me right now. Hey guys, look, two hundred dollars on one hand. Right, <laughs> right. You got to make a scene. Yeah. yeah. And then, it, and <laughs> and then it, I just lose all my money. I'm right. like, it was worth it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it is a comic. There's. They're similar to like New Year's Eve gigs where you're like, you know, you're just a part of what they're doing that night. Yeah. That's not their whole. Right. Like, if they go to a comedy show in Vegas, that's usually stop one. It depends, though. It, yeah. It, I mean, the tickets. I guess when are, you become a big the act. The tickets yeah. are pricey. So I think. Right. I think if they they do giveaways, but those casino gigs, like you do a casino gig, it's your people, right? Yeah, sure. But as you said, it's still tough. Yeah. It, there's something about it being in that, that room and it just, it's not, it doesn't feel like your show. You feel like the casino is giving you a little time. Yes, and then, true. Right. Then you're back out there. When you go to a comedy club or a theater, it's like, this is my show. You know, but at the casino, it's the casino wins. Because you yeah. know that they want people back out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a r limit on how long the shows can run. Like totally. you do a club out there, it's like 80 minutes max. Because they're like, get them out on the floor. This is great, you know, that they're here. But really what we want them is out on the floor. And Probably. it's also weird to be working a casino because I can't help but shit on the casino. And I can't either. It's, and that that. Louis, it's like that Louis episode where they're mad. And I'm like, that's what we do. But uh, so then I just like start shitting on AC instead. I'm like, that I could do. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I only did Atlantic City once. And I was like, I called it Las Vegas. I was like, I don't like this place at all. That's better it's than old, mine. Old. Vegas with AIDS. Yeah. Yours is, yours is way better. Uh, way yours got clever. a harder punch, though. Eh, yeah. That's not clever. Was, Only spirit bad. flies there. What? So that's all you need to know about Atlanta. And no City. spirit leaves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, nice. it's, a, yeah. it's a rough city. My brother did his bachelor party there, and I just remember a strip club with a woman who had a Star of David tattoo, and I was like, this is what happens to Jews in Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna keep moving. <laughs> if Mark decided not wow. to say it, it was bad. Yeah, you know. <laughs> better than a Jew with another tattoo. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh my God, it's good. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to dial it back. That's a good line. Mm. Dial it back. When have we done that? Yeah, good point. <laughs> um, no, yeah. AC is. This is good. It's good interesting. Job. Very good. Really good. Uh, there's a comic. Uh, years ago, I was doing. Uh, Loonies in Colorado Springs. Oh, I've been there. I heard you talk about oh, it. Yeah, with Nate. It, it, yeah, and um, but the host, this comic Ella Gale. She, I think of this joke. I think of this joke once a week, and certainly anytime I have a gin, she goes, "If you want to know what gin tastes like, just drink the water under the Christmas tree." Ah, oh, <laughs> I, I like think about that. it every every Damn. time I have gin, and I still like it, but it's pretty apt. Yeah, I, there's always jokes that just live in your head. You know, you're in the yeah. shower, like, "Oh yeah, that Todd Berry joke." Like, I always think of this joke maybe once every four days. Like, yeah. Whenever I see a guy with a neck tattoo, I always think you forgot to not do that. <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest joke, but I love it. Damn, that is so they go tight deep. Yeah, yeah, they're very like they live you know, in for you. whatever reason. That's just a perfect line. Yeah, yeah, Africans got a few. Of those. Seinfeld's yeah. got a few. Yeah, they just live there. Nick Griffin's got so many of those. Oh things. yeah, he's one of my favorite uh, joke people. Yeah, so many. You hear his joke about? I don't know if I've said it on the pod. Maybe I have, but about uh. His, he talks about his divorce, and he's like, I really did love my ex-wife. And his friend goes, how do you know? He goes, what, I got to convince you too? <laughs> oh, that's killer. That's, that's a great. great joke. Killer. Your your cadence is easy, is 
fun to do. Oh, like, hey. It goes in in the same way, hey, comedy. Like my, <laughs> my son does it. What? Like around the house. Well, I was uh, like, listen, you can watch this. I'm not know. allowed near him. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, comedy, we're doing it. My hey, wife. Any Jews here? Ooh, too many. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> yeah. I got a, a garbage guy I drove. I was in Queens early. Garbage guy went, comedy, out of the truck. Yeah. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting the, the working man. Yeah. Like around the house of Joel, my son starts it. And if my wife's there, or like the, the younger daughters are there, it's like, you you can do the start, but don't get to any of the actual jokes. <laughs> around, not around here. If you and your friends are doing it, sure, that's fine. But right. not around the nine-year-old. <laughs> Hopefully you don't do it to her in bed. No. The no. Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> We're really doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Anal. Yeah. All, right. All right. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, so wait, I might have some some rugrats someday. Well, what's the what's the key? What's the advice? What would you say as a comedian? Oh yeah, it's uh, you you remember um, Mulaney's episode of Comedians in Cars? Like he oh, so yeah, perfectly yeah. summarized it when like Mulaney was like being like really like I don't know, I don't know if I can do it, I can't have everything. And, and Seinfeld goes like they don't need all of that, they just need you. Mm. And I think that's really out as just having like because mm. I work the road, you know, just as much as any of us on the weekends, and you're like, but as long as you have a relationship with them, you, you say know? that like that's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> the the relationship is the hard part. Yeah, the I me think, being me. Yeah, the, I, the stuff I can give. <laughs> yeah, it's easier just to set like an old yeah. school road dog, send the check home. Exactly. Oh, man, I, was I, a good I had a girl on my show the other night, and she was like, "That was so good." And I was like, "Well, it's all downhill from here." Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> now that we're just hanging out, I'm, that, that's yeah. the one I'm good at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The hanging I don't, out. That's I don't the hard know part. anything. I can't compare it because I only have done stand up as a dad. Sure, sure. You know, so like that when people that's are talking pretty about pretty ballsy. I know. Yeah, three. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I, well, like, my wife's an artist, and she gets, like, the oh, itch helps. for it, sure. you know, and and also, like, as it, I, I also make more money in comedy than I did at any meandering day oh, job, too. Oh, all right. It's not like I was, I was killing it in life. Sure. I think it was more like, yeah, I was like, the last job I had, I was middle managing at a rec center. So she's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> might as well try comedy. That's a <laughs> Maybe bad this rec. is the thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, also, Great job. But. The fact that you were uh, a, a, you're a clean comic must have helped early on. Because I knew comics early on right. I was jealous of. Like, we knew those guys early on, they were just squeaky clean. Oh, and they would oh, yeah. book corporates and they would get gigs. To the top. And I would be like... Oh man, I, I want to fucking do that. But then I, I, I just said I want to fucking do that, <laughs> so I can't do that. Yeah, it definitely helped get money gigs early. Um, it wasn't necessarily always like for. The, I always say with like clean comedy, like it's it oh, it shuts you out of nowhere, but it does open certain doors for you. For yeah. sure, you can still do any gig, but. What's annoying is the guys who like really market themselves as a clean comic and they're like, I'm a clean comedy, you know, I won this clean comedy. You're like, if, you can't be your whole brand. You, the yes. goal is to find your act and like whatever you're writing, it still has to work in the clubs. Like you have to be totally, you a kill. club comic. You have to be on the front lines of comedy. But exactly. when you can work clean there, you're like, oh, I got a, I got a thing here. I got, right. you know, so... That helped, and it did help me early on because there were a couple big church comics that brought me out. Whoa. And they brought me out because I was clean, but I had no church jokes. And she they didn't did. step on their shit. Exactly. Their there was oh, no, like, you ever wow. show up late to church? We're like, I got none of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's giving you the eye. Church meet and greets, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I got none of that. You ever I, not go to church? Yeah. That's my bit. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't swear if that's what you want. There you so. go. Yeah, 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 which is huge. Yeah. You got those mics and wise guys drive our guys would come in the night before and just wipe out the whole night. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, the guy's got the pushed up blazer. It's like, yeah. <laughs> that being said, there are some killers on there. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. My buddy's sure. Zoltan. I think you know Zoltan. Oh, I yeah. love Zoltan. He did a dry bar? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's it's, so underrated. I agree. He's well, you like, go where the eyeballs are and, and they have a big uh, subscription base. Right, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're huge. There was this era in San Diego comedy when I started where Madhouse, which is we, where we first met. You probably don't even remember. I was like hosting for you one weekend like oh, yeah, seven that, that years ago. Oh, yeah. Tough like room. That. Yeah, well, it was kind of on, it's like... It's not a good name for a comedy club. Madhouse Comedy yeah. Club. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, it was a great I'll club. I'll be at the Cuckoo's Nest Comedy yeah. <laughs> Club all weekend. <laughs> yeah, we, it is... It's it also the Looney Bin. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good... There yeah. are a lot of them out there. Also like not weird names. Room, the no. Uh, crackers, not a great name. Bonkers. Yeah. Bonk crackers. Oh, gosh, the Bonkers. Bonkers room. with the Z. Bonkers yeah. with that's, a Z. That's the infamous Joe List weekend. Yeah. What, about what does that death, mean? Where, where Joe and I just oh. fucking had a, had, had a week of hell gigs. Wow. A lot of those casino gigs that I did in like 
Vegas or not that was when I started for Vegas you're not even in Vegas you're in right. Prim you're in Laughlin and Pahrump like all the border Pahrump. towns you just yeah Pahrump. yeah you're just so trying yeah. Pahrump. Pahrump. It, just sounds, it just sounds like a bummer yeah and they just it's not a gig they just set up some tables oh. in a side room you're like this is really this is really yeah it, yeah I think I did that joke like this is yeah, named after the it. little drummer boy or whatever and uh but yeah, those 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 were brutal. Yeah, rooms. the, but the Matt, strip is sad until you're off the strip. Right, right, Good right. Good point. Right. You're like this is fucking sad. Yeah, great way to the put it. The strip can be fun for for like I always I was in AC for one night and I was like that's great. That's yeah. all you need. I had a great yeah. one night. It's well, a hooker. You well, don't want to yeah. date it. Yeah. You know. Well, that's what's tough about those Vegas clubs though. Like I do Brad's club a lot, and it's like a week seven. Ooh. It's way too. You get in Monday, you Ooh. leave Monday. That's so, oh. so oh. many, and that and they put you up in a really nice room, and the yeah. show is fun. But it's like, goodness gracious, that's way too long in Vegas. Yeah. It gets real sad. That's why I never. I know a lot of guys who have gambling problems, real addictions, and I just couldn't. I like to gamble, but it's so sad in a casino that it keeps me from gambling. Well, I right. do it. I, I do doing it alone is sad. But oh, with a bunch right. of people, I'm kind of like I lost some money, but it was entertaining. That's true. Yeah, you're paying for a night a out. Bit. The drinks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, those two vodka sodas. So that was really worth the nine hundred I lost. <laughs> <laughs> but the slot lady and the respirator yeah. and the smoking and the old lady with the camo hat and the yeah. limp and the rascal. The tracheotomy. Yeah. The, the fucking yes. slot machine. Yeah. Ah, the too sad much. two mile walk back to your room. Oh, <laughs> the long fucking that walk. can be a, that can be bleak. The bad yeah. carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ding 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 in the background. Brutal. I'll do Vegas once a year usually uh, if I do Brad's Club, and but like I'll make like a trip out of it. Like my family will come or something. Like we'll have because it is it's just way way. That probably too keeps long. you from gambling too. It's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And Vegas is like a it's an entertainment city now, so there's enough for them to do. Sure, you know? sure. But even then, you're like I don't know if this is making it happier or sadder. Being here with my kids, like oh yeah, all the like all the, like the characters, they're like, why does Elmo got stains on him? Like, That's what they come like here. <laughs> why is Pikachu crunchy? Yeah, <laughs> don't touch him. Yeah, what? Yeah, they'll be like, I remember Down and out Cookie Monster. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time it was right after the the Dark Knight rises the last one bane came out yeah and my son goes why is bane fat uh, <laughs> it's like a sad love handles bane because uh, he didn't do his homework <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you know as you say it uh madhouse had this like era when i probably like was a few years into comedy where it was like a headliners club but it became a showcase club and i think it was in part because like the middles there were so strong. Oh, really? Like our class, like they were coming up, you would catch, like it was, uh, it was me, Taylor Tomlinson, uh, Brian Simpson, uh, Derek Poston. Like there was, and then we also had guys like Zoltan, who right. were headliners. And it was like, a, that's the nightmare when you're headlining. Like you have some local headliner who's middling. And, yes. you, and if you're not selling tickets, they go up for twenty five, and you're in the back of the room, like I don't, I don't got this. Right. That's why I bring Gary Vee on the road. He takes a nice little dog. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and they got like ten minutes yeah. on the city. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. no. God. <laughs> Any comic in Boston. Yeah. Oh. Just buries you. Yeah. I yeah. did. A, I did a weekend at Tacoma Comedy Club with Dennis Regan years ago. Oh Brian's yeah. Brother. Dennis, very funny. Very funny guy. Some of my favorite Classic, jokes. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes, uh, I was like, I'm from there, and he goes, uh, you better not do any local crap up there. <laughs> like before uh, it went up. And I get it now as a headliner. You're like, what's you up just... with these homos in Revia? And they're yeah. like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, all you have to do is say the name of but a place. Totally. The best part is when you go back to a city enough times that you can do the local references yeah. as a headliner. That's true. That's kind of fucking, that's nice. I remember Dennis Regan, I've worked with him a few times. Yeah. And, uh, Man, he had a joke I loved on Letterman where he goes, uh, my dad, he had one of those reversible belts going up. Like on one joke. side it was brown and the, the other side he would beat me with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just and a then, great mystery. And, and then the button is like, I always preferred brown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. he's, got, uh, he's got one of my favorite jokes too. He goes, he talks about he's staying at a hotel and he goes, uh, yeah, I, I, I could hear the couple next to me in the room having sex. And it just went on for so long and it was so loud that finally I called down to the front desk and I was like, hey, like, it's a problem. Like the couple next to me is having sex and uh, I can't hear the woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, I think we all have, I got like four minutes on each city now just from the road. Yeah. Yeah. But if I can't think of a bit about the city, I just, 
I just go opioids. Like, ah, you guys are all addicted to go. opioids. And it's such an, a pan, an epidemic that it's it works it every time. It to everywhere. Yeah, because everybody knows somebody on Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick? Hey. Utah, yeah. Oh, Utah. Oh, yeah. Happy Valley. It's bad. Forget about oh, it's, it. It's, in Salt Lake downtown, it's like a video game. You're literally like, this doesn't feel like real life. It's right. Meth Frogger. It, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> Called Meth Frogger? <laughs> it's, uh, it's about like the rich Utah housewives, how they all just had, you know, they're all strung out on opioids. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. And, and it's so textbook. Like you go to Utah, a lot of Mormon, blah, blah, blah. But there's like one half of the audience is covered in tats, crazy haircut, piercings, leather yeah. jacket. The woman's got fake jugs, crazy blonde, right. dyed hair. And you're like, Oh, you guys were, and then you got out. Yeah. They all have to yeah. overcompensate. Oh, and the yeah. Other, the, the, the other half is still like, wearing like their secret yeah, underwear. Exactly. Yeah, the exactly. dudes look like Sid Vicious, and then you know the the still Mormons all look like Kenneth the Page from Thirty Rock. <laughs> <like crazy. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. Sheet white. The area called Draper. It's a little uh, south. They call it Bill's Mountain. Ooh, I want to ski there. Holy hell, Milf Mountain. Yeah. You guys watching Milf Manor? <laughs> What's that? Oh, well, I don't want to tell you. You'll never come back. <laughs> <laughs> the show will have to end. <laughs> what, what is it? It's just a new Bravo show that's about Milfs trying to get laid. And uh, they're all old. This is and literally, they did a thing on Thirty Rock about this. Remember? Did they? It was like a joke. Hilarious. Oh, well, this Milf is real. Island. Yeah. Milf Island. Yeah. This is the same shit. Incredible. Holy shit! They given me some purple. See, they're all divorced and horny. I wasn't married for 14 years. I want to get a chance to do me a look. Young men have much more energy. They think I'm... See, they want the young boys. Uh. See, they're all horned up. I am in this amazing, beautiful mansion here in the So we're giving a thing for older women, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. What, was that going somewhere? Yeah. No, I just wanted to <laughs> confirm that fact. Well, <laughs> what's going on here? Someone said sounds exactly like Nikki Glaser, and the guy who does deep fake put her face on. No her. way. Oh. I don't know if you can find the deep fake Nikki Glaser one. Damn. It's like it's just her. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, this show is fun because I hate these dumb reality shows. My lady watches all of them, but this one I'm like, eh, put it yeah. on. That's on Disney Plus. <laughs> where it was that'd be great if they just made a total shift <laughs> it's mom's based it's bt <laughs> oh there it is porno. oh porno abort abort all right i can't find Pull it, it up. <laughs> yeah. abort abort <laughs> Woo. Yeah. The cracking any peeves guys oh i had a good one Oh yeah. Hold on. Oh wow. Well, Does he have I, a list? I had one today. I, I, I uh I wanted to I, I brought this up to my wife like two days ago. I was like, Do I have any? And she just laughed so loud. She's like, ah. You're irritated by everything. Totally. I'm like uh, categories of them. But you can go first if you want. No, no, you go. You go. I'm, I'm noodling. I want to get your guys' take on this one because this is like uh this is like an ongoing debate in the Nickerson household. Is a uh, uh uh AirPod like rules when you should and shouldn't have a men around other people because mm. it drives me crazy when you're like with somebody and they have one in or like you see right now a lot of like employees have the men yeah and it's like very old school like boomer dad of me like you give me the good customer service that i deserve yes but you'll be like checking into a hotel right but really what bothers me in like conversation where you're like am i not good enough for you yeah is that that's what it feels like to me i was like do you do you have to have a soundtrack to me yeah, have, have like, all right, I got a podcast in this year, but then if Dustin says anything interesting, exactly. maybe I'll take it out. Did you have that bit about if you take one out? That's like sometimes people give you one ear, you know, but they that won't give you both. Bit, but oh. Yeah. oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah somebody yeah. has that bit. They'll give you a chance. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similarly, people will do the thing where they'll just be on their phone all the time, and then they kind of chime in when they want to. Talk, oh, and then they go right back to the phone. It's a similar energy of like. You're not important enough for my full attention. Yeah. I know two guys in my head who do that I was all, the one. all the time yeah. at the cellar. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Every time. They sit at the table, and they want to be in the group, but they'll just wait until something Oof. pops up that they care about or they can say something about, and then they go back. Yeah. Like, it's probably on. an insecurity in my need to be liked and all, but I'm like, come on. It also might just be like a, with that guy, it might be like a, an ADD thing where they just can't focus. Right. Hmm. I get it. I mean, I get ADD. I have ADD, but my insecurity weighs it out, yeah. and my my people pleaser cancels that out. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm with like, you. 
I need you to like me, and I want to know that you like me. So, uh, how about in like a they, store? Yeah, I what like if you. you what if you go in for like a coffee? Would you have one in or no? I'll take it out when I order. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah same. That yeah, that's that. But like you know, if you're shopping or whatever, you're walking. That's great. That's fine. You know, I walked around the city earlier today. That's fantastic. But as soon as I want to talk to somebody, it just feels feels really rude to me. What no, about, I'm with you. What about a run in on the street with someone? What do you What do you give them? It, it, does it depend on how close you are? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, I think one ear is customary, right? Like easily, that, you got to give them at least gotta one. Got to do one. You know, like our relationship. I two ear. I would take them both out for you. I do one ear for you. Ah. We're, 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 clo- we're closer. <laughs> I know you better. We yeah, have, we have more that's ears. fair. We, we text about sports. All more. right, I got to yeah. work up to that ear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and you know what else is bad when somebody's jogging or something? They see you, but they keep jogging in place. So you're like, oh, this won't last long. Yeah, you know they're they're not gonna break their stride <laughs> for me. Well, maybe that's maybe it's a nice thing that they stop because they. That's true. They could have just, yeah. just given you the wave and kept that's going. True. That's a good point. And it is annoying when you work out and you see someone you know. That's true. Like, that's the worst. Like at the work center I used to work at, like we still have membership there, and I'll do shifts based on when I my friends aren't there. Because I'm like, ah, they're just going to want to talk to me and catch up and yeah. stuff like that. And you're like, I don't. No, you need places to zone out, especially right, exactly us being expected to be on all the time. You need places. Yeah, right. You don't want to be irritable. Yeah, when, yeah, when you yeah. Have hey, those funny guy. Things. You're like, I don't want to do this right oh, now. Yeah. Brutal. But I, we play hoops in the rec center like every day on the road. That is like, and it's like how we. I already bought shoes for the guys, yes, right? The Incredible. Honest is, be honest is. And then this, ha- I willed this to happen by buying the shoes. Yeah. I willed this into existence. Yeah, I dream it into existence. Yeah. He was bummed I wasn't, by the way, breaking news here. I don't know if this is going to be, Uh-oh. this is going to get picked up by Bleacher Report, but he asked me, Giannis asked me, he goes, uh, are you a Bucks fan? I said, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a Knicks fan. I said, but I, I do love your team. I really respect you guys. And uh, and he goes, he was he was like this. And he goes, well, you never know. And uh, next time I'm a free agent, where I might end up. Whoa. And I go, Whoa. and I go, and I was like, dude, don't do this to me. Don't fuck. Don't you fucking do this. Do you want to be on a losing team for 25 years? We're, we're fucking five <laughs> seed right now, New the York. <laughs> we're the five seed. Put some respect on our team. <laughs> yeah. Oof. If Giannis were Nick right now, we're the best team in the NBA. I mean, that applies to a lot of NBA yeah, teams. Yeah, but it's true. Yeah. Not the Sonics. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, so, so sad. So but guess what? If Giannis sad. said, I'm signing in Seattle, you're never going to get that team back. Yeah. That's true. That's how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm never getting that ear. Is that what he said? Yeah. If he held yeah, out, not if like, Giannis, yeah, that's done. We're done. If here. he held out, he said, I won't play until Seattle has a team. They'll have a fucking team tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Be, that's probably what it takes, right? Because it's like of a lot of our old guys, they're like our old coach, like George Carl, and they're like, yeah, nobody yeah. cares about that. You know? Yeah. But John, Giannis could do it. So I got to peeve. Yeah, tell me. My grocery store, it's one of these like uh, hippy dippy places. And every time I ring shit up, they go, do you have a bag? And I go, no. And they go, and they like look pissed. Like, like, how dare you? Ah. So then I have to buy a bag. But I'm like, I'll just buy the bag. What's the problem? But they want me to bring the canvas tote Mm. in. And so they, they shame me every time for buying a bag. What what, what place is this? Uh, Morton Williams on Bleecker. Suck it. (laughs) <laughs> Morty. Yeah. Another overpriced. You know so what, overpriced. You know what bugs me about the Morton Williams and the and Dustin? I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but any, anyone who's lived too long enough knows the Morton Williams, the D'Agostinos, the oh, Christinis, they're, they're all shitty grocery stores and they all cost more than Whole Foods. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they're like, so Christinis worse and like more filthy. expensive. Yes. Great. It's awful. Yeah, Filthy. it's a good it's a good business strategy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here they are getting shout out. Pull up pull um, up the guy who owns Gristides. Look at this guy, John Casamatidis. Weird looking fella. Wow, you know the guy's name? That's I know crazy, guy. yeah. He did a mayoral run for a minute. What? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's like not a, John it, Casavetti's is way better. That guy looks looking. like a Will Ferrell character. Oh, right. Casavetti's. Yeah. <clears throat> Castabadidis. What is it? Okay. I've got two misspellings. Wow. Oh, C A T some TDs. So you know what it is? We used to have neighborhoods where like that was your grocery store. So you kinda had to go there. But now we have options. But they're still hanging on with these uh, overpriced Whoa. Whoa. Guy looks like a melted eraser. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, oh it got worse Jesus. somehow. It's got how a much beasting. Much- yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah. Incredible. But he's rich, so you know that he, he gets some. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Like, <laughs> Holy shit! Put them side by side. Wow! Damn! Who would you rather have go down on you? Oh, I'll take the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow! Probably should have said actually 
called the Jew fish. No way. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Damn. Ouch. Funny mark? Ah, <laughs> I don't like those kind of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called the Jew fish? That's just what it's called. Huh. Mm. How do you spell it? The J Jew fish. Damn. <laughs> I thought that was the salmon or the white fish. <laughs> That's more Jewish, yeah. right? Okay. Kafilta. Thank you. Underrated. Yeah. Imagine okay. this guy's dirty talk. Check out this fresh produce. Uh, yeah. Don't forget there to lick go. the bag. Uh, there we go. Hey, I don't understand. Like, I'll, I'll come to, you know, New York. Been here like 15 times or whatever. But I don't know the, I don't know. Like, I'll walk around. And I'm like, where are the schools? Like, I don't, uh, you know, like, where do you play over. catch? They, like, if you ever play catch with your son, I know you didn't have a dad, so it doesn't apply to you. <laughs> they're tucked in. It is weird. There'll be, like, a bodega, yeah. a high school, and then, like, a like a toilet, like, yeah. a, like a Home Depot or something. Yeah, I don't know how, like, just normal parks. domestic life I mean, there's basketball. Here. There's a shitload of basketball courts. Yeah, around. I guess I mean, you sense. can play. But that always bugged me, the people who played catch on the court, because they take up the whole fucking court. That's true. Right. It is a selfish move. Baseball's a big game. So there's yeah. no way to... Get some grass. Yeah. We need this Where? court. Well, you got Central Park, Washington Square Park, uh, Madison Square Park, Riverside Park, uh, uh, Bryant Park. Uh, what, what's the one in Brooklyn, the big one? Prospect Park. Okay. There's a lot Let's of parks. Let's get eight parks. So many parks. Yeah. You just got to know where they are. You'll, yeah. you'll find them. Yeah, we'll just play in the street. I got, I got a peeve. All right. The guy who, who tries to make you let you know that he's happy... Even though you know he's miserable, mm. that is a pee for me. Just fucking own it. Is a longer story that I'll tell another time. But a guy I met in AC was starting shit with us at the tables, and he was like, "I got a family." I was like, "Where are they?" <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> You're at the table losing money right next to me. You ain't better than me, bro. Yeah. I got a family. What yeah. is that? People do that. I got a family. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the make you happy? The Menendez brothers had a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not True. everyone's happy. Yeah. That could really go either way. Like, I'm a, is that saying you're happy or you're sad? Oh, it could good go. Point. He was saying it as in he's fulfilled and we okay. weren't. Okay. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's an AC. Yeah. Good Lord. Fucking loser. I got a it family. Got, it got heated. Yeah. Really? I mean, I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. Oh, please. Please do. Did you take their college money? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Blackjack, so no. Ah. But the dealer did. Okay. And uh, no, what happened, he just kind of kept starting shit. And it was, it was, it, 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 he was like, you know, he kept saying annoying. She was hammered. He was like was a like fat. Or- yeah. And he was a kind of a fat, annoying, fake, jolly, happy, you know, but he was like m- miserable. You could sure. See. And he was kind of making sarcastic comments every time. And then, uh, <laughs> and then at one point I get, I bust on five cards. I get like I think I had like uh, it's like the fifth card and I got like twenty two or something. Ah, like, oh. what a and, run! And he goes, he's like, my grandpa Charlie. They call he talked like that. He's from Syracuse, but he's southern accent. He goes, my grandpa Charlie. <laughs> he said on a, a five. They called him five card Charlie, and they said if you know if you get five cards, you ought to win anyway. And I was, and I turned to the dealer. I go, well, five card Charlie says so. Yeah. Then I think we should rewrite the casino book. What do you say? And he was pissed at that because yeah. I was hammered. I was in the I was half in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. He was, but he would have been annoying before that. Oh, okay. And then I do declare, <laughs> I do declare, yeah. I do declare <laughs> this man. And then he starts getting more and more annoyed, and he and he he gives him like, oh, I, I'm from Syracuse. He keeps bragging. I he keeps bragging. That he's from Syracuse. That's go, worse than the family I, flag. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, right. dude, I, so I'm fucking hammered. So I just say Syracuse is a fucking dump, and everyone at the table laughs. Yeah, yeah not and, wrong. And he goes, you've just never been there. I said, dinosaur barbecue. I start yeah. naming people the from there. Like, I've been there multiple times. I was like, and and to tell you how I'm not prejudiced I am. I think Bluff Buffalo and Rochester are pretty cool. Yeah, and everyone at the table is like, oh, yeah. and people are, people at the table are side with me. A lot of them <laughs> were there with me. But uh, that's how crappy Atlantic City is. Is that you can crap or like you can, or cra- how crappy Syracuse is that you can be in Atlantic City and be like that place is a dump. I know. Like to be yeah. in the trash, bad mouthing a worse trash. Incredible. Right. Well, then he goes, "Where are you from?" And I said, "New York City." And he goes. <laughs> Ah! You're from Syracuse. <laughs> you fucking loser. So it keeps getting more and more heated. Then I, was, I was with a woman at the table, very, very pretty woman, and he goes, uh, he, she's, he tries to like high five us after a hand, and he'd been rude. So we we're just like, fuck it. We we're just like ignore him. Ooh. And he goes, he goes, I've never had this happen in all my blackjack years. And she, <laughs> and she says, and then he bought and a she slave. Sa- <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> and then we're annoyed by him. So he goes, uh, 
<laughs> he, he says, I've never had this happen. And she goes, really? A woman has never asked you not to touch her? And that gets a huge Oh, line. good. Oh, That's a funny You're line. Crushing. Good line. You are We're on crushing fire him. right good now. Lady. And then he goes, he calls her ugly. Oh, and and I was like, dude, she's. Cl- I, mean, I said I'm hammered, so I don't. I'm not at my wittiest. I go, you have four chins, you fat fucking Syracuse uh, cre- creature, is what I say. Yeah. Oh boy. And people were like, okay. And then yeah. she and I, and I was like, she's not unattractive at all. And she's very pretty. And he goes, he goes, well, she's ugly on the inside. I was like, well, that's not important to me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you. I, I was like, that's that's fine with me. And it keeps going and it keeps going. And it just it's like all night. And I was like, Sorry. this is a fucking we're just like fighting with this guy. On, and this is this is the low point. I'll tell you the low point. Uh, he keeps coming at me. And by the way, I didn't even notice your Dangerfield shirt. I fucking love it. Whoa, but, that's killer. Yeah. But I say I love it. I, I turn to one point after he said the comment about her looks. I'm wasted. So I turn to my tour manager and I say, Brian, I say, what if I just sucker punch this motherfucker? And he goes, it's a casino. It doesn't matter that you just sold a lot of tickets here. They will arrest you. And right. I go, and I and I turn and I pause. I go, but it'd be good press, right? Yeah. And he goes, it would be good press. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this might, is who's guiding my career. Yeah. I might sell tickets in other markets because of this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> losing Atlantic City. I can already right. see the funny uh, the headline: Funny man takes a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting handcuffed. I was like, Five Car Charlie would be okay with this. I do declare. Uh, <laughs> Woo. That's uh, the him like making fun of New York thing, like or hating it. That's actually another peeve of mine. I hate when you like you tell someone where you're from, or a city you like, and then they just tell you they don't like it. Oh, like, well, yeah. I did do that to him in, in his well, defense. Well, Syracuse, no defense. Syracuse, uh, come on. But you're he wasn't saying it. how much he liked. Like uh, my favorite city to go to is San Francisco. I love SF. I love. I love. A- anytime SF. you go to, it's exactly uh, people do that. They go, oh, what a dump. Oh, all the well, don't go. Right. It's not for you then. Yeah, yeah, we don't. We're, we're not actively seeking more people in yeah. in our city. Yeah, I right. don't understand. I live that. in California. A bunch of people left. Like everyone's leaving. You're like, good. That's our main problem. Yeah, too, too many, many people. people. When is Get New York the here. best? When it's kind of dead. Right. Mm, oh, we yeah. Had a oh yeah. Pandemic, baby. Really? I loved it. No you traffic. Loved, no you loved what? Tort. New York City in the pandemic. Yeah. Really? The city was ours. Yeah. There less, were no tourists. Thank you. Less senior citizens. <laughs> you, heard, you heard it here. Matt Salakus loved when all the family businesses were struggling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hates nursing homes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ago. Quit bragging. Yeah, <laughs> big time. A woman asked me where I was from, and I said New York, and she goes, ah. Whoa. I mean, you know, it's right there by Louisiana. Sure. Yeah. She's like, what about the politics? I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you want there? That's what's yeah. funny about living in San Diego, though, is people will, like, hate on California. And they're like, ah, oh, you know, liberal, socialist, communist, whatever. And then they go, where and where do you live in California? San Diego. They go, we love San Diego. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. You do kind of get a different yeah, reputation. Yeah, you get a pass. Why is it? Um, it's a little purple there. Well, yeah, because it's a big Navy town. Right. And so it is a good kind of like That mix. might be why it's the best comedy city it's in California. It's such a good comedy oh. city. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, SF crowds are good. LA crowds are good. Yeah. As long as you're not like, as, if it's your people in LA, yeah. they're great. But it's you know the random pop ups can be right. whatever. Yeah, it's a good it's mix dicey. of people. It's a party city, in but offense, not there. They don't get offended easily. Party. No, 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 not at all. And I, it's I think very that's laid cool back. You just it's said. like a, it's because it's a, it's a beach town that's a city. Yes. Yeah. So it's like a city, and everyone's chill and unmotivated, and but like, still hot somehow. Yeah, yeah. It's a city full of part time lifeguards. Is what right. I'm like, it's like they're all content because they're like, well, what more could I aspire to than to live live here so there's no like big companies there uh, there's no like world changing entrepreneurs right from there they're just like no i just was and longboard to the beach baby they don't have that pretension of la that like i'm an actor or right, all right, that right, i'm right, a big right. shot what do you drive they don't yeah. have any of that there because they're from there everybody right. in la is not from there. nobody's from there yeah everybody moves there and gets a dodgers hat and you're like all right right spare me you know yeah but San Diego. it's unfortunately it is a cool logo it's a great logo. <laughs> it's a great yeah, logo. Yeah, Pull yeah, it yeah. up. It it's is, a, yeah. Dodgers, Dodgers is a great is a logo. logo. Who can yeah. have a logo, though? The LA, yeah. it looks good. I mean, I it's a classic. Second only to the Cleveland Indians. All right, that's a solid those logo. Are, those are classics. It I is do like classic. the logo. But I don't, yeah, no, I hate that, too. Yeah, it's it's nobody's, when when you have a... Um, yeah, that's it's a, good, it's a good hat. Yeah. What I you have in LA is... on the New York one, the interlocking NY for the Yankees or the, the Mets. The New York one's better. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. This is a little square. It's a little As jagged. a non-biased person, I'll call them equals. There I you think go. that they are, you know, I have no skin in the game here. 
Oh, well, that's, that's a beauty. That's, that's a Mets are a great logo. Both Yankees and Mets. Fantastic. That's a, New York's fucking winning that. Come on. My favorite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, again, I have no skin in the game here. I heard Giannis might play for the Nets. There we go. <laughs> Don't you dare. All right. I like, uh, there's some great hockey logos too. Mm. Hockey. I like the San Jose Sharks. That was a classic. Yeah, I like Roy the Wood Penguins. Always, because of the colors, Roy Wood told me he used to always wear Charlotte Hornets gear as a kid. Hornets gear, oh, yeah, yeah, with baby Bugsy. Blue. It was gang neutral colors. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he always said to me. Yeah, I like a shark biting a hockey stick. Hey, Zoc Doc. There's nothing worse than going to a doctor's appointment and having your doctor seem like they have better places to be. Instead of checking you out, the doctor is checking the clock. Not with ZocDoc. You'll find quality doctors who focus on you, listen to you, and prioritize you. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and available when you need them, and treat Almost every condition under the sun. Choose from thousands of patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. Browse doctor profiles. Upload and verify your insurance information. And get the care you need. Go to ZocDoc.com slash drunk and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find a book. Find and book top-rated doctors today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash drunk. ZocDoc.com slash drunk. Get on it. When my cat's healthy, they're happy. And that makes me happy. I got a big old fat Maine Coon, and that thing shits like a rhino. So you got to have your pretty litter. All right. Thank God Neil's not here. But I don't always know when they're healthy. Pretty Litter changes colors to help detect early signs of potential illness in my cat, including urinary tract infections and kidney issues. I really use this stuff. I swear to God, I'm going to get a a handy later when I pull up with this uh, big bag of litter because my lady loves this stuff. We tried all these different ones. This is the one. Your cat's annoyed. Your cat's uh, anti-Semitic. The colors change. It's great. Pretty Litter Super Light Crystals base also minimizes mess and dust. Plus, the crystals last up to a month, which means less scooping and fewer trips to the garbage can. Pretty Litter ships free to my door in a small, lightweight bag. I never run out of it. And I don't have a container of litter taking up space and stinking up the joint. Pretty Litter helps keep my cat healthy and keeps odors down. You and your cat are going to love Pretty Litter as much as we do. Go to prettylitter.com slash drunk to save 20% off your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash drunk to save 20%. Prettylitter.com slash drunk. Oh, yeah. The, that and the Muggsy teams. That were... was a weird era of dudes dressing like women that no one cared. <laughs> Wait, Remember what? Grandma. Yeah, oh, pull yeah. up Grandma. Rodman, Rodman, Rodman too, dresses yeah. a woman oh, at the wedding. Oh, the wedding, wedding, dress. The wedding dress. Look, wedding dress. Look yeah. at this. Grandma. This was LJ's alter ego. Yeah. I forgot. I yeah. met LJ a few times. It was times. on like He's Sports Illustrated nice for guy. kids. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Wow. <laughs> he did it on an episode of Family Matters. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Incredible. It was LJ, and Urkel can kind of hoop. Yeah. Oh, Jaleel White, yeah. You're doing that. Ellen's cut, co- and then. Uh, Penny Hardaway had those. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Oh, there's them together. Incredible. Boy, this is my whole childhood. And then Ellen Family came out on ABC rules. a couple yeah. years ago, uh, a couple years later. Oh. Very uh, ahead of the curve. Medea. Yeah. <laughs> Great Shane Gillis joke. Uh, I watched Hidden Figures. Is it Hidden Figures? Yeah. And he goes, uh, or as my dad calls it, Medea goes to space. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Damn. He's funny. Damn, I love it. Yeah, wow. remember Kareem Abdul Jabbar did, did an episode of Full House, too. Did someone That's block right. Larry Johnson there? Yeah. There's some Family Matters scandals out there, too. Like, like what? the Eddie guy, the kid who played Eddie, he killed somebody. What? Oh yeah. My God. Eddie? What? Yeah, in real life. One of the daughters was. Yeah, one of the daughters in porn. What? Jaleel White had some problems with like. How did I miss all this? Yeah, yeah it was the '90s. It, you know, there wasn't the internet. What what what, what did Jaleel White do? Uh, he just you know he's like all fucked up because Urkel like he oh. can't get a gig. Whoa! All right, Sally. What is it? What Careful was that? there. Jeez, what is yeah. with all the porn searching today, yeah, Salakus? Yeah, it got to porn so fast. <laughs> yeah, he's a good Christian comedian over here. What the hell are you doing to this guy? <laughs> He's first working on the yeah, of course. Was the that weird getting those Christian? Because <laughs> you, you probably got a lot of you were doing like arenas, right? 
there were some ones that were like, and I was like so new into comedy, and they were like, so we're doing Grand Canyon University today. I was like, okay, oh, wow. I don't know what that is. And you walk in there like, it's 7,000 people. Whoa. And like, I'm like four years in. Oh, wow. Which maybe was good to be that blissfully naive to it, you know? Uh, and you just walk out and you're like, oh my gosh, this, Whoa. Is, this is gigantic. That's you know? insane in the in the early years yeah, to do that. Yeah, it was, uh, I was very fortunate in that way and let like, I got to be a pro faster because of that. Sure. Know? Yeah. I, I don't I don't love the arena gig though. I'm, I'm not a, yeah, I don't either. Too, a little too echoey, you know. The best one I did I did fully loaded one weekend and we did the KFC in Louisville. That was great. That's a great room. Yeah, that we was did that like, once. Yeah, it was super fun. But all the other ones you like I don't love comedy in Louisville though. You what? don't love it? I I, I like Louisville. If I'm in Lexington, I pre- if I'm in Kentucky, I yeah. Lexington. Have you done the new club? Norwest opened a new one. There. I yeah, did. It's all right. club. It was yeah. a bit of a heckle fest. A lot oh, of really? It was a heckle fest. Okay. It was a lot of hooting. Queen Louisville is a weird city, and cool it's two was... most like iconic figures are Muhammad Ali and the KFC guy, <laughs> and George Clooney. <laughs> oh, there you go. And Diane Sawyer. He's like, Lexington. Yeah. Who? Again, this is a weird mix all of over people. The map. All over the map. Which makes sense of why the grounds would be so weird. I believe Johnny Depp. Yeah, Ron on the, the best joke about that about being a Jew from Kentucky, yeah. and people always say, "Well, how did that happen?" He goes, "When my when my grandparents fled the Holocaust, they uh, weren't picky." Mm. <laughs> That's a great joke. <laughs> That's a good line. Uh, no, Lexington's great though. There's like a good energy in the air. Good yeah. energy there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, on Broadway, that one great club, club. Yeah. Yeah. hidden gem, classic. And, yeah, and it's one of those old school clubs. Great like, guy. Oh. They used that's, to do a lot of cocaine in these clubs. Oh yeah, it's you can in the woods. Feel it. You can feel it. You can yeah. feel it. Well, that's a classic room, and uh, the cool thing about Kentucky is whatever bar you're in, even comedy clubs, you're like, oh, I'll have an ocean aged scotch. Or so you're like whatever. Yeah. They have like amazing whiskey, not scotch, bourbon, whatever. But mm-hmm. they have great whiskey mm-hmm. menus. They have like like the way like like a diner menu, but for right. whiskey. Right. Right. <laughs> right. That's their thing there. Bourbon yeah. horses. A little bit of racism. A hint. At least there's some racial tension. You think? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> in Kentucky? I don't <laughs> notice anymore. <laughs> well, having Louisville in the middle of Kentucky, it's kind of like Atlanta in the middle of Georgia. Yes. It's like, ah. this is like an iconic city, and the rest of the state is really upset about a Black Little Mermaid. Yeah. You know, it's, it's weird for to have hey, it join that. the club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I prefer I prefer outside of Atlanta, personally. Better than so a Jewish mermaid. You guys can't fuck with shellfish. Hey. <laughs> 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 Kentucky was neutral during the Civil War. Mm, neutral. neutral, like Switzerland, or mm. Charlotte Hornet yeah. jacket. So there nobody liked them. We had the Hornets for ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. In New so Orleans. both sides just yeah. There you go. Some, yeah. Imagine being neutral. Just imagine me. It's it's like the Seinfeld episode. I choose not to race. Yeah, right. right. It's almost more offensive to be like, ah, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. care one way or the other. Yeah, about yeah. humans owning humans. I'm neutral on that one. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> 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 Did they set up Kentucky as like you know like in tag? They have base. Oh it's yeah. Kentucky base. You're like you can't <laughs> fight here. We're safe in this area. We all have coffee here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like good living. Like every time I go to Lexington, I'm like, maybe I'll buy a place here. This is not yeah, Rolling yeah. Hills. I mean, I won't, but it just seems nice. It's quiet. Nobody bothers you. It's unassuming. It's one of those places the plane ticket is always way too expensive. That's true. Right. It's hard That's to get there. They know that you won't need to get there. That's true. Right. So you have to cheat the system, maybe fly into Cincinnati or do yeah. some weird right. shit. Right. Yeah, there's some weird taint dick balls asshole stuff going on with ohio and kentucky you fly in ohio but you go to kentucky yeah. or you fly into kentucky you go to ohio it's it's all wacky yeah. over there ohio i mean it's easy for you guys but coming from the west like anytime you do like hilarities you're like this is this is more challenging than it should be but same thing no one knows yeah. you're just like yeah i'm going to cleveland for vacation oh they know yeah. you have but to go i will there. say these right. days we usually if we go east to west don't you leave a day early usually i never do really i can't do i've it. been doing it just because i don't i don't want to especially if i have two shows that night i don't want to travel i don't want to do a six hour flight yeah and then do two shows i want to i want to make sure i'm on my game yeah you know so I, I will try to fly in the night before. But. I get it, but uh, I'm like I have this happy, fulfilled life as a father. So I, <laughs> I got, got a spend, family. I got a spend, I got a family. <laughs> well, reminds me of something Granddad yeah. Charlie once yeah. said to me. He said, I got a family. A man my is family, not ba- yeah, my family back in Syracuse. <laughs> I got to spend every second with him. <laughs> Woo. Mm. 
He did have a fat face. It was a funny face. He was, was so outraged when I called him fat. Yeah, I'm <laughs> picturing the D'Agostino's owner in my head. <laughs> he did kind of look like that. Oh, there, wow. He that's looks ugly. Yo, I kind of saw something like that, way too. Way yeah. younger than he looked. Oh, he that's had a haggard good. fucking look. He'd lived yeah. a life, yeah. I, uh, that's one of my the things that hurts the most in internet comments when people call you old. Yeah. I don't know if you guys get that, mm. but I do. It, and it stings, really. Mm. I had one... Well, they probably just think you're old because you have. You're probably my age, but it's. You I'm know. 38. How old? Oh, I'm what 36. The stash, the glasses, yeah. your dad. Well, I, don't I did know. like a joke about like being a millennial, and people were like, "This guy's the oldest millennial in history." This guy, <laughs> this guy, and uh, these are horribly tame. Yeah, I get way well, worse no, no, than this. It got worse. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking no, F they, word, N word, yeah, R word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing my own comments. <laughs> That's somebody had to caption that. <laughs> <laughs> somebody had to create a graphic that came up on that. Uh, no, I'll, but, but I was. I had one day where it was just like a video went pretty big, and everyone was just telling me how ancient I look. And then uh, the internet, like Lord algorithm, blessed me, and they put up. Soder's old clip of saying he was 29 mm. and then I immediately went to the comments and because Soder's a good looking dude oh yeah and they Buzz were like Lightyear. they're like uh, that they're, Buzz Lightyear that's funny. yeah yeah and the yeah. top comment was this guy's been 29 for 10 years Ooh. and then the one under that goes this guy's 29 the way Brittany Griner is a female Damn. and I was like this made me feel so good well she is a female yeah but that's what, the, just to read them and go like alright this is just what it's like out here yeah but people yeah. say don't read the comments but that's easier to do when you're like big and successful when you you're starting, you're like, there's two comments. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know? But you know what? You, you do get, uh, you do sometimes get a bit at it. Like, sometimes I laugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I read it. Sometimes it's an insult to me and I fucking laugh. Oh, you yeah. post them sometimes. I like yeah. to post them, too. It's yeah. funny. Yeah, someone, yeah. Someone, it's someone cathartic. Wants, someone wants a comment. He looks like George Clooney's failed clone. Ooh, that's, good. that's solid. Like, that's yeah. pretty fucking funny. That's Failed yeah. clone is that's funny. That's true. Actually, the uh, the opening uh, the opening bit on my special runs in the family film on YouTube is about cyberbullying, and it was someone called me like this guy is an uglier, less funny Ned Flanders. Ooh, and wow. that, that's, that's the opening good. joke about cyberbullying. I was like, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Flanders is funny. Flanders is a funny one to hit. Yeah, the reference is everything. Yeah, Something, I used to get a lot of Michael Phelps with Down syndrome. That was mm. a big one. Yeah, I got. Sh you know what? <laughs> yeah, I, got, yeah. I had one that was said I looked like a really, uh, really sleepy Donnie Wahlberg, mm. and I was like, "That's already the less attractive Wahlberg, <laughs> right?" And then why you gotta add sleepy? Yeah, you know, well, think, yeah. they gotta have some zing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, a yeah, tedious right. Daniel Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> tedious is so funny. Because <laughs> otherwise, one. he's quite pleasant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One time I got Shia. Ugh. That's, that's, like, good. that's pretty good. Shia, yeah. yeah, that's good for a comment. I wouldn't even know how to write that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he Shia put a dash in good. there. That works. So people said uh, on our subreddit that you look like Eddie Cantor. I see it a little. bit. I could definitely Ooh. see it. Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah. Who's he? Oh my! By the way, the guy who guy who founded Reddit hosted this benefit last night. Stop it! Wow. Wow. Like a billionaire right there, right? I know. I I I got my first big laugh shitting on him. Oh, oh. The one that you're ruined. Uh, I Your mean, it was pretty tame. I, now. I said. Uh, he brought me on stage. It was he was very nice, and he did he did a great job hosting. Actually, like was heartfelt, but also like self deprecating. I was like, oh, he did a good job. So I go up immediately. I go, hey man, thank you so much for finding Reddit. Without you, how would I know I'm an unfunny one eyebrow dipshit? And I got a huge pop. Oh, thank God, that was nice. the first joke. That was the first. And there was I said. such a relief. Yeah. When, when those weird gigs, you're like, oh, if I get a good one early. They told us not to curse, too. So yeah. it was just like my first line is dipshit, and they got a big laugh. I was like, I'm cursing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tested the waters. Yeah. If you kill, they never care. They never care. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah, been yeah, told yeah, that a million yeah. times. You do that sometimes with those gigs where you send out some feelers. Like, you're like, when you're like crap on the company or like yes. the city or something like that, and you're like, you like that one? Because I got a worse one behind me. Right. I got something even meaner here, but if you give me this one. But they always want you to shit on it because you they go into do. your um, Uber's weird, and they're like, "Yeah, all right, all right." But yeah. then you go, "Hey, Bob's a, a douche." Like, yeah. "Yes, Bob, Bob talk about douche. Bob." Yeah. yeah, we hate well, Bob. It's so weird and foreign for you to be talking about yourself in a setting. Of like course, that. You're like, of yeah. Course. So I got kids. They're like, "I don't who I don't even know who you are." <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. keep, you keep it going. You're like, "Bob's a weird looking guy." Everyone's cheering. You're like, yeah. "And I heard he uh, he sexually assaulted some employees." They're like, "What?" I've <laughs> 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 done it too far. Listen, <laughs> I I've done some crowd work at corporates that I'm. I'm not proud of really you know, yeah. 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 yeah well you know you just you find the thing that they like you're trying to like get into a bit usually uh like if you can but like you say you're like oh hey, you know, this guy and with the what, I, what, I, what I found is good is if you can uh get 
the lower plate employees. If you can get them and realize that uh-huh. you're on their side, yeah. not the boss or the corporate. Like I did one, it was like a, like a winery and it was for some tech company. And like I came in, I don't even remember exactly what the jokes were, but I was like, hey, one thing I got common with uh, you guys is I'm not getting paid enough either. And we all, I did a Norman voice apparently. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I like and that And they got on, <laughs> it was a good like way to get in. And the, the the like the boss he's rich he laughs he doesn't care yeah i am treating him like crap but it doesn't matter so there are things like that where you're just like this is just survival i just have to hit my time ish i had some bad ones every man line though to get everyone on board dude i did a i did a like uh early on i got i had a gig where guy's like hey i got like a company party in my house Hmm. and i was like okay and he's like i don't have like a sound system though could you bring it and i was like i guess and it was like for like four hundred dollars but i was new yeah and he's like okay go set it up there on that side of the pool and they'll all be on the other side oh, of the pool. Oh, no. And he's like, oh, you do like 25, 30? And I was like, okay, fine. And I, I was really new. All I had was material. I didn't know how to survive in a gig like that. And I bombed for a solid 30. I mean, not uh, like people kind of just went back to partying. Yeah, And yeah. I just kept going on because I was like, I got to do my time. And I was just like looking at the sound system that I brought. I was like, I want to jump into the water with these. Yes. And then I ended the gig and then I had to tear down the equipment. Uh, <laughs> and like take it back up to my car. Uh, I just picture you doing like the Bill Murray and Rushmore just collapsing. That's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. And and uh and the guy like didn't look at me when he gave me the money. He just yeah. kind of like looked away and gave me some cash. And there was you know? a lot of that early on. A lot of that. They'd hand you like crumpled up money yeah. and they'd be like, here, yo, real quick. I'm like, this isn't illegal. No, yeah, no, right. no. you don't have to be so What I did about did this. feel illegal. <laughs> I felt like it was, I didn't want anyone to know about it. Didn't that was for sure. you get fired from a corporate gig like halfway through the, yeah, halfway through the gig? Yeah, a few of them. I've, the I've few. fucked up every corporate gig almost I've ever had, but two of them were really like, it shook me. I was like, I was traumatized for a day or two. But one, I've told this story a million times. I'll give you the quick version. Saw a guy sell me the seller. He goes, come to my company, hedge fund. We do it upstate. I'll, I'll pay for your train ticket. It's, you know, a zillion dollar hedge fund. I get there, it's Ferraris, Lamborghinis, the whole thing in the driveway. And it's like white tablecloth. You know, all the waiters are just serving champagne. And everybody's loaded. Right. And the guy gave me a rap sheet. And he goes, I want you to be vicious. And I go, you got it. So I go up and I'm like, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> Kenneth, everybody knows you, you're gay. And his oh. wife's there. She's like, I know. <laughs> you know, so she leaves in a huff, and I'm like, "Oh, that was weird." All right, That's incredible. And then I'm like, "Hey, Richard, hey, we all know you got a coke problem. When you go in that break room, we know what's happening." And he's like, "Shut the fuck up!" And you know, <laughs> his nose is bleeding or whatever. And I just did that with like eight people, and eventually the guy just went boom, and that made he that just feedback. Took the mic from you. He just took the mic, goes, "All right, we're good. Okay, yeah. uh, we hit the band or whatever." Did they pay you? He did not want to pay me. I remember he had a cigar in his mouth. He was like, "Just take it and get out of here. Oh, just get out." Man. And I was like, oh, I did what you cigar. asked. Fuck yeah. him. Oh, yeah. He was like they, a big, fat, rich the guy. The problem is when they see you at your best. Yes. Yep. In the right environment. Right. Where everything aligns. They assume that's just how it always goes. Right, that right. That happened to me once. I remember uh, at Eastville, these guys were like booked me for a gig. And it's a gig in Bridgeport where I got chased off stage. Mm. But they booked me being like... Well, I mean, if you're this good here, I'm like, what, on a Saturday night in a comedy yeah, club? Yeah, 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 yeah. For 12 minutes? Yeah. You think I'm going to crush in a weird fucking part of Connecticut? Yeah. Right. That's not how it works. Not how it works. No. Yeah, they always think they want comedy. They yeah. don't want comedy. They don't want to sit and listen to your kids. You know, no, like, they no, don't no, care no. about that. They're my observations on life around us, they don't want any of that. They picture everyone laughing and them yeah. being like, wow, I brought this guy. I'm yeah. the man. That's what they picture, but it's not that. That happened to me. I got booed off a of stage at a college. Whoa. And it was, they, they booked me. They're like, I love you. You're great stuff. And I'm like, oh, we'll see. And it was this like tiny, you know, a lot of these college gigs. You're like, I'm not even a real place. It was I like, really don't right. anymore. It's, yeah. have you, when's the last time you did a college? It's been, this uh, was years, years ago for me, too. Yeah. yeah this was probably, I mean, I did them when yeah, I started yeah. out. For sure. Yeah. This was probably seven years ago. And it was like day 13 on the road for me, which is a long time. Like, I don't stay out that long. Very yeah. That's often a doozy as a dad. And yeah, it was. And I was like, yeah, uh, tits. Yeah. And then I was like, I had like a, I had like an infection on like a cut. I was like sick too. And I was like, all right, but this is the last gig I have to do. And it's in like in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia. Mm. I'm driving through and there's all like, I saw multiple garages that doors that had been painted as Confederate flags. Oh, like, wow. Which painted. a big state. <laughs> Not just the flag. Yeah, yeah. Painted. It was like yeah. a guy came into that town and was like, uh. this is a service I could offer. And like yeah. six of the homes all said, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> is there any party after the 14th one where you're like, 
I'll just say the N-word just to get him on my yeah, side. Yeah, just to get him on my <laughs> side. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, just to get it going. I don't believe any of this, no. but, I, you know, all things to all people here. <laughs> kill's a kill. I, I'm yeah. pissed about the Civil War, too. Yeah, I'm not happy yeah, either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was yeah. about states' rights. It right. wasn't even about slavery, right? Yeah, exactly. Just pander. I think Abe Lincoln was a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you drop a hint, this is a cotton-picking good time. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So I go. <laughs> one too many. All right. One too many. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, You're yeah, right. Good a, teacher. Really seems to care. Yeah. <laughs> that's its own pod with just you. One too many. By the way, there's one of my favorite things about this pod is when you guys go to your sponsors. My favorite one is when you go, uh, uh, you'd be like, hey, are you guys, uh, you know, we all need therapy. You know, we all, we got some problems in our life. You need to talk to someone in your life. You got problems. And then, uh, anyways, you just Promo code drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a big for one. therapy, which I is know. like that's it's right on. Oh yeah, there's a market yeah. that that's exactly what they want to yeah, hear. You got Maybe. that right. They're not gonna forget. It so. No, Anyways, it, is, it is ridiculous. We yeah. have, we've also like health ones, Hilarious. like Athletic Greens. It's like promo. Oh code. yeah, we have a lot of ones where we're like, yeah, I don't know if this is, but that's like made me. It's made me more healthy. Yeah, we need it. Who needs it more than us? Yeah, booze bags. Yeah. We need the greens. It's a great we promo code. Should, make a healthy, to go to therapy. An athletic green cocktail. I don't know how that's going to taste, dude. Ah, that's why we got the mixologist. Sure. All Justin, right. Yeah. I know you're oh. a bored dad because you listen to the commercials, too, on the pod. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm like, one I AirPod in all, I eat all this. Wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two AirPods I've out for two of the kids. I've never heard us do the ads. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, I, obviously, we do, but I've never, I don't think I've ever, I, I don't That one just caught me. Full disclosure, I was fast forwarding, but that was the last one. And I just heard therapy. Use promo code drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Good time. So wait, wait, wait. So what happened with the college? Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's like the classic college gig where it's not really even a show. Uh, they're just like, hey, you're going to go up here at six. And I walk in and there's mm. like one table and like two kids kicking a soccer ball in the back of this room. Jesus. And they're like, so you go on. And you're like, oh, I, do I have to? It seems like nobody wants this. And what I didn't know was class got out at 6.15, or no, was class got out at 6.05, and we were in like the, the cafeteria. So people started coming in about five, 10 minutes into my set. Mm -hmm. And, but they're way far away from me. They're like 25 yards away from me. Ordering, on the other side of a campus pool. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ordering their dinner. And wow. all I can hear is like the the sandwich lady being like, Sam, turkey on rye. That's all that's that's all I'm getting. That is wow. what I order, actually. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's like a table in front of me. I'm just bombing. Like it's I'm not even bombing. It's almost like it's not happening. Yes, you know, yes. it's a non gig. And I looked at like I start talking to the table and I was like, oh, what are your name? They're trying to do anything to survive. And she was like, why are you talking to us? I was oh. like, oh, well, there's like a comedy show here. And then they. Jeez. And there are three girls studying. They they go. We didn't ask for this. Oh, and I go. You're right. You didn't. I'm in your study space right here, yeah. and I'm just like. But but what's happening is a lot of kids, probably like 70, 80 kids, are all now in the back, far away from me. But they kind of get wind that there's a comedian bombing, and it starts to kind of like. And I start getting heckles in the distance. You suck, boo. This is awful. Da, 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 da. Wow. And I'm just trying to survive. At all. And and I go, uh, I'm trying to do anything. I got a na bit about names or something. I was like, what's your name? The guy goes, D. And I go, what? And he goes, D's nuts. Yeah, oh. classic. Comedic pause, eruption. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, people were started standing on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him, got him, got yeah. him. It was like insane how ruckus it got. And I'm supposed to do 60. And I look down at my phone, and they're all, and it says 17 minutes. Uh, there are 43 minutes left, and they're all booing me. And I go, I'm good. And I just walked good out. Good for you. Because I, I, part of me, the comedy and the comic is like, I got to do my time. I was like, there's no winning here. There's no, and so I just like walk off, and I go take a red eye from Baltimore back to the stinking city, and then I wake up the next morning to like. There's all comments all over my Facebook. D's nuts, got him, got him. Ooh. Like this kid's like trolled me the next day. Now was, here's the worst part about those gigs is you get off stage and the the producer or whatever yeah. lady is like, oh that was bad, and you're like, your fault. It was your this fault. This is not yeah. my fault. I'm I a comedian. Even, I, I know didn't what even I'm try doing. And get money. I actually was a little scared. Yeah. Like it gotten it, it gotten so wild. That I was like, I, I think I'm safe. Right. But if nothing else, they're going to verbally abuse me as I leave. I mean, there are 
30 kids in this city that think I'm the worst comedian of all time. And then I got on stage the next night just to like get rid of it. You well, know, you, but, do, yeah. you do stink. It is like a fish. Where it, it does, it, yeah. You stink uh, yeah. until you, it, that next set's the show. I think about that yeah. set pretty regularly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even though like you get off and you're like, you do a set the next night and I had a great set and you know, it was, you, you're like, no, I can do this. and But you're like, oh, you know, you're better for it. You know, I was like, yeah, I still wish it wouldn't have happened. Of course. It, and I, also you're not better for it. You would have been fine <laughs> yeah. without that. that yeah, it, you're that's, right. That's one of those gigs where I, I relate to that so much that, that looking down and seeing 17 minutes and you've already thrown out your like guaranteed crowd. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. And you're, you're like, like, three of these minutes I've have been got, on TV. I got exactly. None, I got none of this fuck. I got none of my weapons left. Right. No. And now it's like, it's like, it's like you're just in a shootout and you're like, just throw the guns now. You're like, Fuck hand to hand, I guess. Is all I, got. <laughs> I don't know. But you got nothing left. It's not your fault. It'd be like if you were really good at basketball, and they're like, "We got you a basketball game. It's in a cornfield." And then you're like, "Well, where's the ball?" And they just give you an anvil. Yeah. And you're like, "What the hell? <laughs> this isn't fair." I thought you were a good shooter. Yeah, oh. exactly. And then like, there are people. Am. Then there are hicks yelling at you. You can't dribble with that anvil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a gig. This was a lot of money for me. A lot of money, and it was in Philly, and I had to get a tux custom made that's how high end this gig was it was a pharmaceutical event or whatever and uh it was at this crazy hotel ballroom in philly they got me a limo all the way from here to philly got my tux on had to get fitted the whole thing i get there three hours early they get me a stack of note cards i'm hosting an award show for the best this is the best sleep aid nominees are and then i would do the whole thing it was like a yeah. four-hour show it was like the oscars for pills and i was like all right here we go a lot of money and they're like do 15 up top then we'll get into the award show they had the ladies back there who would hand the trophies and everything it was big time yeah and i go up and i go all right this is gonna be a cakewalk it's like 500 people in the crowd ballroom beautiful chandelier and i'm bombing immediately immediately bombing immediately bombing and i go all right i'm just gonna Go into a little dirty. I was supposed to be clean. I'm like, just get a little dirty. Maybe just get them. And I did a joke about how self checkouts are kind of like a vibrator. You know, you do it to yourself. It's usually, it's usually, and it, <laughs> that's the little dirty. It kills. A little yeah. dirty. So you know when you're fingering yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did it on Conan. No, I know. So, I've done the same trick. Really yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. cleanish. Yeah, yeah. But this lady goes, "That's enough!" Oh, and yeah. she throws the napkin down like a Marx Brothers movie, and she Hilarious. runs out. And then the husband runs out after. And She's I was like. Fucking throw a pie in her face yeah <laughs> yeah and i go uh some square old bag uh, we don't need her yeah. back to the show bombing bombing and then uh eventually a, a guy comes up to the side of the stage goes and I, I go excuse me everybody hold on i walk over and uh, he goes you're done you're done and i was like ah. and he goes you're done i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take it so he, he just takes the mic out of my hand and he goes you just go back sit down i had to sit down at the front table with like all these oh. guys and i go what happened they go that was the CEO's wife, and the CEO ran out, and I was like, "Oh!" And so they're like, "You're fired, and uh, <laughs> we'll send you back in the limo. You just got to get out of here." And I remember I left, and I saw her crying in the lobby. Oh my god! Like he was consoling her, and I was like, "Jesus, your, your husband's like a pharmaceutical." Yeah, you're literally Guru. killing people. Yeah, you're killing saying. people. Yeah. Let's go back to putting drugs on the streets. Yeah. yeah. He gets a phone call. He's like, more opioids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. comedian was so offensive. Yes, yeah, 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 so yeah, offensive. Yeah, yeah. Imagine great. being that we rich. We created a homeless epidemic, but that dirty joke. Yeah. It's your fault. Yeah, well, yeah. Imagine being that rich and being married to that. Right. Just humorless. Just someone. Yeah. Who can't the fucking, and Good also, point. Like, have some fucking compassion. If yeah. I, if I yes. See a, if I see an yeah. artist of any kind, I'm not calling us artist, but if I see like a, a musician, performer, or anything, a performer struggling, yeah. I don't, I don't fucking, I don't think they suck. I'm just like, man, that's that's tough. Yeah. I, yeah. I, maybe it's because we've been through it and we relate to it, but like, shit, man. No, e it's even, cool. even if I don't like their act, I'm just like, eh. I try not to be hard on them. Right. Yeah, of course. Like the girl going, why are you talking to us? Even that's a little harsh. Like, yeah. you know why I'm talking to them. They booked me. They booked you think me. I want to yeah, be here? Yeah. This sucks. You're it's fucking it's horrible. It's for everybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's just like, it's like, yeah, that wasn't meant to be. The, right. Your comedy should not have been in that comedy No comedy room. should no. have been yeah. in no Nothing comedy. should have been in yeah. that room. Yeah. 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 yeah, I did a gig in the ballroom, one of the ballrooms at University of Utah, where they asked me to open for a clean comic because I was doing open mics. and. I got the same thing. It was like they had to pull people from the computer lab next door because there's nobody in the audience. And it was a dry canvas, and I got I pulled out a, a pass on stage. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Incredible. 
That's Whoa. amazing. That's am- that is the funny. opposite of the Apollo pull yeah. off. Is a- <laughs> right. That the is Pat's funny when you're off. a clean comic and like like. You, I'm getting to the level now where I sell enough tickets that I can say to the club, like, hey, if you could book someone clean-ish, yeah. that, that'd be great. But I'm not selling enough that I'll demand it. So I was at Helium in Philly, and I told the guy, I was like, did he tell you? And he's like, yeah, I'll work clean. And first thing he goes out, very first joke, he goes, so I got a baby dick. It was the ah. first thing he goes, eight pounds, six ounces. <laughs> which is not a bad joke, joke by joke. the way. Which is not, I, I laughed That was at a real it. laugh right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a great joke. He and, uh, finishes into a diaper. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very funny. I was like, I think the definitions that we have of clean here are different. But <laughs> yeah. I will say the, the crowds that I do have there, they get it. They're like, yeah, it's funny. We're all, yeah. you know. Baby dick. My friend opened for Galifianakis, this is 10 years ago, and Galifianakis is like, I'd like a clean comic to open. And I remember being like, oh, that's kind of weird galifianakis he's pretty dirty right and it's only because that you can just come out and go so he jizzed in my ass last night or whatever and you're like ah that's just too dirty yeah like it's not even funny it's just you're just saying crazy shit i've done that too i'm not by any means a clean comic but i don't like when it's excessive i agree i agree because then it kind of just is like well now it's just kind of like cheapened a little bit right totally totally and I have no problem if they do that, obviously, on their own, but on, on the show I'm doing. Yeah. I don't want that. I think that. there's a little bit of aging there thing, too, where you're like, ah, I've heard enough of this. You know, sure. uh, Zoltan had an old it joke about- It becomes unspecial. Yeah, Zoltan had an old joke about when he went and saw Wolf of Wall Street. He's like, I knew I was old because I was watching. And he goes, it's just a bunch of smut up here. <laughs> <laughs> Smut's a great word. That's yeah, a very, fun, very funny. And that's a good- fun. Yeah, this is, eh, it's just a bunch of smut. Yeah. I do like that movie, though. It's a great movie. Great movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah midget uh, wrestling or whatever. That was fun. Midget tossing. Right. That was in that movie. Yeah, yeah. I like how you thought you corrected yourself with the wrong word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cleaning that up. Thanks for tossing. making that. We can air it now. It's yeah. fine. It's not problematic now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, should we do a bit? I have plenty of midget friends. <laughs> what? A, they're on a short list. Yeah. Hey, oh. It's a small world. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, yeah, what, uh... Should we do bit? Oh, let's do a bit. All right. Yeah. What do you got, Hold Dustin? On. You want to lead Let me us pull off? Pull my list here. Uh, sure. I've been kicking around this like idea. I try it once. Of um, it's kind of it's, it's uh, another aging thing where like as the the health goals that my doctor have given me, like as we're talking about what we should do, he's like, well, like you know, like you got to go on a lot of walks. Like you got to do it's just just walking. Like not even running, just like walk. And he's like, and like push ups, like body weight stuff. But you don't even have to do a full push up. Just like push your top half up. Which I'm like, these are literally the fitness goals of a toddler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, right. That's the goal where you're just trying to get yourself. This is all I need from you is if you could stay straight up and then you can walk. And then I was thinking about how a lot of my pain comes from being on airplanes. Ah. And that's where, and I, I'm sure you guys, which is very embarrassing that that's what hurts us because sitting you sit and you have a you have a thing a tray and people give you snacks which is the closest version of an adult high chair oh, that you're gonna get so i, like I think that. there's something in there of just Definitely. like it's, it's gone toddlerish of like that's the type of bit you would think of too i, I like that's the bit like a very normal like i love oh, yeah. a good Normandy. comparison Normandy. like that <laughs> well, it is Storm yeah. beaches but uh yeah that's interesting it is funny that that because you think about like pro athletes they fly everywhere yeah. right true right. that's not where they're getting hurt no, 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 you know? no. Yeah, it's never like Giannis is out two to four weeks with, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> the they spirit really, air. They get to it. It's like it just move, just like yeah. like hiking is like a, almost excessive. Like you don't even have to do a hill, just walk, just the basic. Right. You you get to these. Uh, you get to a point where like it's not even technically exercise anymore. If we could just get you to walk and push yourself up. Yeah, that, that's funny. I think there's funny. something in there, the idea Definitely. of the, connecting it to a baby. Because every raising kids, you're like, you're so proud of your little kid when they push themselves sure. up for the first time. Like, oh, they've got good head control. <laughs> yeah, you could do connections, too. Like, when your baby starts walking, you're like, he's walking. Yeah. And then when you're trying to work out, they're like, Dustin's walking. He's doing it. Look, he's yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, he's yeah, exercising. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. exactly. It might be funny, too, about, like, you and the baby. You, you celebrate it with, like, candy or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you get ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a get nap. That, get that kid yeah. a crustable. Right. Yeah. yeah. It can't eat a nap. Yeah, 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 you're back in there. Or, or, well, also when you take a, a breather, that's like a timeout. You know, you're like, I need a, I need a break. Yeah, it's a timeout. Well, that's the other thing is that you're supposed to do yoga or whatever. When a lot of that is just laying, just like right. you can just like lay <laughs> right. flat. The, the the as you hit near mid age, it's just the the expectations and the goals for what you're doing in fitness are just 
bare minimum. Just yeah. Have, you don't even. They don't even. We get to the age where they don't even really want you to run anymore. Like that's I too know. much. It hurts. It does. Yeah, I think hurt. I heard you. That's was true. It, you were talking to Nate. You played with like at the rec center and was in Dallas or something. And you're like, you thought you broke your back. I thought I broke my back. I was playing with these young kids and they were fucking fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I and it's like I do that thing where I'm like I will I will play as hard as I physically can. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. And I was like I think I broke my back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a cramp. Yeah. But I was like on the ground for a second and I was like I'm, and then I was like, I gave it like ten minutes. I was like all right I can play again. Yeah. But there was a moment where I was like wow. Yeah. I, I you went just as hard after that. We switched to half court after that. Yeah. I was kind of like, guys, I mean, full court. What? Yeah. I had to pretend like uh, it wasn't. Hilarious. Was That's like, I mean, hilarious. Look at this, a half court right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full court is crazy. Yeah. That's a lot. That's too much. As you sneak up on 40, you become a half court game guy. <sighs> yeah. yeah. We don't need to run, you know. But when you're younger, all you want to do is run full. By the time right. I get a jump shot, I'm like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Those first two runs in full pickup, too. You're like, oh, my gosh. I haven't done this in a while. Like. Go, but you want to, your your pick and roll game has gotten a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, doing all, we're doing all the sneaky shit. Yeah. We're pulling on shorts. No, it's fu- I mean, it's funny. Brian, you become a crafty Brian, veteran. Brian, who's my tour manager on the road, is like, it's funny. We we got uh, we were in Portland, and these dudes. One of the dudes was like recognized me. He's like, "Oh fuck, I'm I'm pumped to play against you." And I was like, "All right, cool." Oh, and wow. we're playing. Yeah. And he was playing like we were playing like a friendly game, but his friend was going at my tour manager hard and, and he could play this guy but Brian my tour manager's like he's got his pride he's playing fucking D he's in his face to the point that I'm like there's gonna be a fight Whoa. you ever see that happen incredible with like, yeah the guy it won't, it's the dude's fault it's, yeah. it wasn't Brian Brian was just like he was bumping into him and he was like well I'm not gonna fucking back down now right yeah right. so it gets to that point where I was like we're gonna fight and like thank god the game ended but it was like yeah. it was, we were right fucking this there. seems Whoa. to be happening on the road a lot for you yeah <laughs> I'm worried about it. you've you. told two row stories well if I've caught them. Charlie you're so yeah. yeah. <laughs> if a game's not over <laughs> you end it my friend it's funny <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of the like, like this new hour that I'm developing is all around like that 40s thing, like kind of connected. Is this to, is this not the one that's out right now? Yeah, but... totally. Yeah, I'll start. I'm running like new stuff now and in town spots, and then like, but when I my tour kind of kicks back up in May, and that'll that'll be a completely different hour than the runs in the family because you like, gotta give them that new stuff. But yeah, I am like, it's it's this is kind of connected to that of like. And this is fr- I've connected to that bit of like, it's because I'm near 40 and 40s is the last age where you're anyone, no one will call you young in your 40s. The only way you're young in your 40s is if you die. Oh, that's and good. And there's no like, he's so young. It's uh, he was so young. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's only in the past tense. Yeah, exactly. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to find this idea, but if crowds get, you know, they're there to not think about dying. That's so true. So when you're talking you about- that. Yeah, I'm trying that'd to- That could be a funny, that could be Oh yeah, action. there you go. That's a way to soften it a bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like, I know you're here not to think about death, but- But I'm uh, going through some stuff. I got to yeah, talk yeah. about it, you know, and I can't afford a motorcycle. So this is, <laughs> this is me doing the midlife crisis stuff right so i think that it's all around kind of, of those things mortality yeah. stuff yeah do you find yeah when you talk about yourself dying i don't know it's, it's, you can see how crowds get real tight on oh yeah oh, we yeah. drink this stuff we try not to think about it yeah, yeah, yeah we try exactly. not to think about this here in this podcast yeah Dustin. yeah but seriously uh, what happens uh i had a bit idea i was thinking about i saw a guy in the street the other day crazy guy just in the middle of the sidewalk everyone who walked by goes he goes i'll fucking fight you Next person goes by, I'll take your fucking head off. He goes, fuck you. I'm going to fight you. No one even acknowledges him. Mm. No one even even bats an eye. And I think the angle I'm thinking of is like, man, even for crazy people in New York, it is hard to find what you're looking for. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're a single person. You're looking for it. It's like it's hard. It's like, yeah. uh, you know. This guy can't find another crazy guy to fight. Yeah, he can't find it. He can't link up with he's another. Gotta get a, he's got to get on a dating app to find it. Uh, un- unhinged. Yeah. Unhinged. unhinged. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. We matched. Yeah. Well, you know when your buddy's like, man, I hooked up with this girl. She's fucking yeah. nuts. And yeah. she's like, bring her on. Yeah. Yeah. He wants the crazies. Yeah. What do you mean? The alley. Always yeah. the alley. Yes. Yeah. 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 There could be, there could be, you could also play it off like a one night stand. Like he beats the shit out of the guy. And he's like, he's like, we should do this again sometime. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Something there. All Don't right. call yeah. me again. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. There's something there. All right. Unhinged. I like. That's funny. Yeah. All right. What is it? Bumble. Bumble. That's funny. Bumble. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Bumble rumble. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, what do you got? Uh, all right. This is a weird one, but I was at a bar, and this girl comes up to me, and I was like, oh, I might be a fan. You know how it goes. And she goes, 
excuse me, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. And I she was, was like, a fan. She, yeah, <laughs> she was a big fan. Yeah. And I was like, no, no. And she's like, okay, okay, I'm not. You know, you're getting all defense. I'm like, no, I'm just saying I'm not. And she's like, all right, all right. She was pretty drunk. And I'm like, I'm just saying I'm not gay. You asked me if I was gay, I'm saying I'm not gay. She's like, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Like, now she's going off on a thing. Right. And I, she keeps harping on it. She won't let it go. And I was like, I'm not gay. Get out of here. And she was like, there's nothing wrong with being gay. So eventually I snap and I go, well... You're pregnant. And she's like, I'm not pregnant. And I'm like, whoa, nothing wrong being pregnant. And it, and it hit at the bar with yeah. my friends. But I think that could be something. Because it's like, just because there's nothing wrong with it, which I'm not saying there is, right. but I'm like, it still can be weird. I'm still saying I'm not. Right. So the pregnant thing is like, no, obviously nothing wrong being pregnant, but like, you still want to be called pregnant. Yeah. I like that the stigma of gay and pregnant are the same. <laughs> well, I just needed something that you she could be. You needed something that she would be repulsed by the yes. idea of. Yeah. It is the the attention that she put on you. Like, why is this my fault? I didn't do anything. Right. You came up and asked me the aggressive question. You just question. don't want to be you just don't want to be not who you are. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's like you never hear my truth as like a straight guy, but that's Yeah. yeah. And I don't, you know, what I'd rather to... be gay than pregnant, you know? I get rid of pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, good point. Oh, there's conversion. Yeah, caps. you can shock it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't know. I just needed something that I could call I her. That, I yeah, think she, that's, I don't think it's like it a deeper her? part of the bit. I think that's the bit. Okay. I mean, yeah. I think that, I'll try it. I think the I bit is it. just the turn. I think the bit is. Uh, Are you pregnant? You probably, no, there's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with being pregnant. Wrong with being pregnant. Yeah. Might, it might be a tag. Yeah, there's yeah, probably yeah, a tag yeah. in there. But it's like this. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the, same the deeper meaning. Is your Lena Dunham joke? Oh, right, so right. It's like, You're you full know, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you look like her. Right. Fuck you. That's exactly. like, it's like that formula. Yeah. But okay. uh, yeah, yeah, it might need a tag at the end just to put a button on it, like a, yeah. to tie it up. Why don't you throw the N word in there? <laughs> <laughs> she was white. Norman, Normandy yeah. up a bit. What, what about? Uh, I've never said the N word on stage. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting this. By the, oh, my, I Michael thought she Richards? was a fan. My, yeah. she's like, I think you're gay. Why? Because yeah. you always say I'm gay yeah. on podcast. <laughs> that's what my wife. That's what May said. She was like, "Well, you do go around saying I'm gay." I was like, "Ah, too She just saw a clip of you doing that. Too yeah. No, um, I also like that you said I've never said yeah. it on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I've never said it on stage yeah. ah text yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> it's said when i'm brought to stage on accident sometimes with my last name Ooh. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and people go what? i always say dustin n-word son yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. i was like <laughs> but what about uh yeah so this tag maybe like uh <laughs> yeah it sounds like you're the son of a black guy yeah yeah, yeah pregnant. Right. there's like pregnant and I'm trying to think of a comp between pregnant and gay. Yeah, is there something other than pregnant? Or do you think that that's the... Pregnant's pretty good, Pregnant's pretty think. good, yeah. All right, I'll keep it. Um, yeah. It sounded pretty done. Mm. Crush it at the bar. What more do you need? That's true. Mm -hmm. But they were my friends. It's like him at the poker uh, table. I like know. A, you know. It's, bad yeah, it's like a bringer show. Right, exactly. Yeah. I called him a fat creature from Syracuse and a kill, and I'm like, that's not my best material. No, no. <laughs> I've had, I've had creature was drinks. good, though. To pull creature out Creature's in a drunken funny. stupor is, a, is yeah, impressive. Dude. Creature Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh watch dustin's new special on youtube now thanks guys and uh thanks for coming on man we got some date you want some to plug some yeah dates, plug some dates. yeah sure go to the We're website out, uh new hour here in uh speaking of utah there we go 19th to 20th we're doing salt lake brea the 23rd do i say the dates themselves the yeah. may 26th 27th des moines chicago in june san diego home gig la tampa yeah, i'm out there i'm doing things a lot of dates a lot of dates more to come check it out sammy where you at there fatty i'm all over man wait when, when does this come out okay so i got uh yeah miami orlando uh shit Ponte Vedra. I don't know if it's already past this, but yeah, Atlanta, Charleston, Durham, Charlottesville, Norfolk, DC. Late show added DC. Wilkes Barre, nice. yeah, baby. Port Chester, San Diego, LA, Sacramento, SF, and there's a few more coming. I mean, we got all kinds of other. How are you doing shit. the Balboa in San Diego? That's great. We got Columbus coming up. We haven't announced that yet. Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Kalamazoo. Pittsburgh, maybe Baltimore. My website's way behind. Philly, Wilmington, uh, all over. Portland, Maine, 
Richmond, Hampton Beach. I mean, so much shit. Just go to my website, Charlotte, Knoxville, Memphis. Website, samuel.com slash shows. Yo, announcing a theater tour hey, this summer. Yeah. Back out on the theaters. Uh, Australia, going to UK, doing the whole rigmarole. I want to thank everybody for coming out to the Vic in Chicago for the special. And uh, yeah, marknormancomedy.com. I got to update this. I'll be in Oxnard, California, and a few other places. But uh, get a bottle of bodega, get on the Patreon, get a glass, get a shirt, get a bodega cat sweater. Watch Dustin Edwardson special. <laughs> and uh, yeah. BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Queef it up. Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of fever wreck, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a cop. Here in New Orleans, this woman doesn't look like I remember her.